Here's Will Lutz ready to get this one started. These folks are ready, and we are underway. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. and be backed up to the 24. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. Austin Hooper, the tight end, was the intended target. And it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. On third down, Ryan. He's Gixson. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. And the key number on that play, three. Third play of the drive, third down. Spectacular catch turns into a first down. First down saves him from a three and out. Now Ryan going to give it to Freeman. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Nice job by the defensive front there to hold him to a short gain on first down. Well played, I must say. Yeah, yeah. only getting one yard. There was no room to run. On second down, here's Ryan. And finding the tight end, Hooper. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. That catch good for five. It's third down. I think it's okay there. They didn't get a whole lot on that play, but it's nice to have a safety valve that's built like this guy. Big target, guy you can spot pretty easily. Put it on him when your other targets aren't open. The Saints with an extra defensive back go, here go, on third go. on the field. Could they blitz? They snap it at one. Now Ryan. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off right around the 43. And he'll return this one just shy of midfield to the 49. Certainly not how they envisioned ending their opening drive here in the first quarter. Too many ones in this play. First quarter, first drive, first interception thrown. And that last one, that hurts. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here, first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 49. So after the INT, it's Bree's on the move to his left. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. And he'll be brought down at the 45 yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Breeze to throw on second down. Blitz coming and down he goes. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. Yeah. 
So a third and nine and six defensive backs out there in the dime. Patrolling the passing lanes. From midfield, here's Breeze. It's brought in right side by Ginn. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Here's Thomas Morstead on now to punt it away on fourth down. Now the Falcons offense gets ready to head back onto the field. That opening drive ended with the INT. It didn't lead to points, but still not the way they were hoping to begin the game. But how about going and telling your defense, thank you, a huge thank you. You said it didn't lead to points, stalled off that drive. Now they've got a chance to redeem themselves, maybe reward their defense a little bit by putting some points on the board on this one. And the tip there altered the ball flight, and it falls incomplete. It'll be second down. Well, we're not playing three yards in a cloud of dust football anymore. I kind of get why those old school coaches sometimes didn't want to throw the football. Because if it's popped up in the air, it almost turns into slow motion. And both sides trying to get to the football. And you're holding your breath wondering whether it's going to go good or bad for your team. Second and ten. It's Ryan again. Flushed and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Sheldon Rankins forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. From the shotgun, Ryan. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. An absolutely zero surprise that that one was incomplete, huh? I mean, was, truthfully, how many OCs have we seen with third and 20 on their play? She can go, oh, I've got the exact play to dial up. No, that's just a, a head scratching down when you're <laughs> facing a third and 20. Tried to complete it, couldn't get it done. The punter Bosher on now as he gets this one away. Fielded just inside the 30. Give him 11 yards that time on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They were forced to punt last time, and I doubt sincerely that they'll have to punt here because they're gifted with terrific field position. I don't even want to think about the idea that they would end up punting starting with this type of field position. Neither do they. Great starting spot. Great opportunity to run your full playbook. They want to take a shot here, they can go ahead and do it. And a former Heisman winner. This is Mark Ingram. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll bring up a second and 11. from the gun. It's Breeze. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throwing into too much double coverage. Might have a couple of them picked off. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And they drop him for a loss, but penalty markers are on the field. Let's see about the call. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. And they still need six yards here on third down after the penalty. Now 
Breeze on third down. And this is going to be incomplete. It's a great job by this secondary. When I watch them, they remind me of elite defenders on a basketball court, right? They want to contest each and every pass. Great contest on third down to bring up fourth. Here's Thomas Morstead now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. Now this is fielded in the end zone. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, it's the Falcons in possession to begin quarter number two as they take over following the punt with a first and ten. Ryan will bring the Falcons up now first and ten at their own 20-yard line. Devontae Freeman. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Ryan. Getting it out left side to Sanu. And they'll bring him down here up at about the 22-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. That time they hit him out of the slot yeah. on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude Let's from go. the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic. Looking for Jones, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 34. And he'll take this back down inside the 20. And that's now the second time he's picked off a pass here in the first half alone. Again, another great read defensively. And you just see him get in the right position to make the play and get his guys the football back. They go play action here on first down. Rolling to his left. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, we always talk about how you've got to be quick when you go through your progressions, and here's another prime example. Trying to look downfield, he was standing in the pocket, but just couldn't find anyone open, could he? No, not enough time. They hit him and forced that incompletion. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On second down, Ingram, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. That goes down as a loss against his rushing stats. But really, should he have to absorb that one? He had no chance on that play before they overwhelmed him. Pretty much on top of him before he could take his first step. through the contact. Incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Ooh. Please tell me this doesn't come off as snarky. But that's a relative chip shot. I mean, you've got to be able to execute that one. I don't care what they design on the other side about trying to block the kick. That should be three points on the board. Yeah, and we've talked about it before. If you're out at 55, 60 yards, low trajectory from here, you get that thing up, this should be three. Yeah, I, there's nothing routine in football, but this one really almost should be. Snap, hold, kick, ball through the post. Didn't happen that way. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. And the offense there, the O-line, everybody really on offense. They were just manhandled at the point of attack. Yeah, you could pretty much call them all out, couldn't you? <laughs> Almost by name, right? That was a very tough sequence for the offensive line. But how about that defensive front creating a new line of scrimmage and creating a lost yardage possibility? On second down, Ryan caught by Sanu. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Hey! 
The Falcons on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This will be third and five. Here's Ryan. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked off by Ken Crawley. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Will Lutz on for the point after. No, he missed the PAT. No good on the extra point, so a let down there, and this will stay a six-point ball game. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Atlanta now coming out on the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together. And say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily to look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Now Ryan on second down. Caught on the right side by Jones. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. A minute 59 to go in the first half. We're back to Atlanta right after this timeout. fake here on first down he's gonna look deep down the field he couldn't quite hold it got hit ball pops out incomplete this team is not gonna make it easy for you they're a physical group and we just saw it there on that play it came in made the contact just as he's trying to haul it in off the play fake to Freeman it's Ryan and the hit jarred it loose it's incomplete. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like I-4 at rush hour in your hometown of Orlando, Florida. An absolute mess. To throw on third down, Ryan. And he's taken down here by the Saints. And now the Saints are going to take a timeout on defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. There's Matt Bosher now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He steps into this one, and this is a rocket. And that'll hit at the five and go into the end zone for a touchback. The Saints coming out now to take the field. difficult to hold on to it because it was contested all the way. Would have been a great play if he had been able to haul that one in. After the incompletion, here's second and ten from the 20. Breeze again here on second and ten. And it's hauled in by Ben Watson. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. To throw is Breeze. Finds his man, Watson, over the middle. 
Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end, a guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills. You want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. He's going to float this one deep right. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. I know some teams are leery about playing cover, too, because a strong safety is not usually a terrific cover guy. But in this case, he played it perfectly, read the football, and went and made the interception. They begin the drive with Coleman. And he's going to be taken down shy of the five-yard line. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Well, he got what he could there, just trying to move forward and, and gain a little bit of yardage and create some space. You know the pressure is going to be tough defensively. They will run again with Coleman. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Demario Davis there on the stop. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys... Hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blow. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On third down, Devontae Freeman. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. Here's Matt Bosher now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. And he gets this away, and look at this. This is a good one. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. 62 yards on the punt that time. Wow. And there'll be time for maybe one final play before halftime. shot before half for Breeze. He's going to take another shot here. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Devondre Campbell, the linebacker, picks it. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. All right, coach, thank you and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. This is fielded at the goal line. And the decision to bring it out, a good one, as he's up a yard or two shy of the 30. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one-play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run that. Now he'll be wrapped up around the waist and pushed down. Terrell McClain forcing his way through there to drop him for a loss of a good 10 yards. The job becomes twice as difficult now. After the sack, it's second and 20. Hey, 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 hey. Ready. 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 On second down, Kamara. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Now that gets back some of what they needed, but they're still stuck here with a third and 13. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. On third and long, it's Breeze. 
incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against his own before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. That's fielded at the eight-yard line. A very nice job on the run back there. He'll get 23 yards all told. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons offense now. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. He goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. Freeman again, first down carry. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play. And that's going to make it second and 14. Seven. Definitely too early to panic, but that is his fourth carry of the game, and collectively has in total 10 yards. So maybe there's no panic, but maybe some concern. Yeah, and maybe a little concern up front because they're not giving him any space right now. The Falcons on third down. It's been a problem. Just one for seven thus far. This is going to be third and 13. A fake to Freeman. Now it's Ryan. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Here's Matt Bosher now. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. He's going to field this at the four. And he spins through. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The Saints offense now, they get ready to head back onto the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. So Bree's going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll try to get the offense going with Camaro. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down first play of the drive let's give credit all around excellent blocking but a guy carrying the ball he was the finisher a really nice run now breeze throwing on second down and seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm, incomplete. Now it's third down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? Here's Camara trying to run for it. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. There are a lot of different formulas to winning football, but one constant over the years, winning on third down. That pickup there was big because they had struggled throughout this one. Right, 
On first and ten, here's Breeze. The catch made over the middle by Ginn. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Breeze on the draw, gives to Camara. And he'll take this one across the 45, up to about the 46-yard line. Give him three on the run there. Now they're looking at a third and about five. The completion on first didn't get much, and now the run on second doesn't get a whole lot either. Well, if you're a good play caller, you've already looked ahead and anticipated this type of situation. Already down in his play sheet, trying to dial up a big third down play. Back now here on EA Sports. It's the Saints. They'll be looking to expand their lead here. They've got the football as we start the fourth. The Saints on third down, just one for five to this point. This will be third and five. They run it again with Kamara. And an alley to run. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. It goes for a gain of 10, and it's a first down. Brandon, unfortunately, I've been here before. They've had two opportunities to stop them, so this is demoralizing. They haven't gotten it done. Now you're calling all your blitzes, all your attack defenses, but you're not worried about playing your normal position. You're going to take chances now. Well, you said it. Two third-down opportunities to get off the field. Couldn't do it, and the clock continues to roll. This is Ingram on first and 10, and he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Pressure brought in, and the Falcons get there for the sack. Tech McKinley in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. Well, nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Third and long now after the sack of Breeze, and the Saints up against it here. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Sliding out of the pocket. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. A big 30-yard play on third. Breeze leaves this one with Kamara. A spin. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. The tackle made there by Tack McKinley. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now backed up in the red zone. Another touchdown, it's over. They've got to stand tall quickly. Been in this spot before. Now there's a little bit of desperation creeping in. And all you're doing when you're talking to your defensive teammates is first guy there, hold him up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far, and the crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Oh, and now he bowls him over, and he gets the first down yardage he needs before he's brought down at the six. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now they'll...
Drop a drop on them. Nerf, these the last days. Throw your cat money. Quiet song. Have